Hi future Red Hawks, my name is Colleen Phelan. I'm the head varsity softball coach here at Marist High School. In this virtual pitching camp, you will see different drills from our Red Hawk pitchers that they like to do either at the beginning, during, or at the end of each of their workouts. So we hope you're able to incorporate some of these drills and enjoy. Boston College to play softball. Today I'm going to be talking to a drill called the Flamingo Drill and the point of the drill is to have a fast arm circle and it also helps your core stay tight to get more endurance. And so this is how you do it. You're going to have your left foot on your knee or whichever your glove foot is and you're going to do a full arm circle and then you're going to have someone throw you a ball and it's going to be as quick as you can. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the importance of spins. Spins are just as important as your speed and the more movement you have the harder it is for a batter to hit. So the types of balls, and sp uh, I'm going to show you the different types of balls, which is the 16 inch that I like to use, which is just like this and it makes you like have a, get a, like a wider grip so then it's easier for you to spin once you go to the smaller ball. And then next I have the spinner. Favorite ones to use because it shows how tight my spins uh, become. And then the last one I use is a baseball. So it's just getting a smaller grip, having your fingers on the laces and just spinning it as fast as you can, seeing the laces turn. So the few spins I'll be showing you today are just, I'll just show you fastballs with the different types. So all you have to do is just stand and have your partner about uh, five to six feet away from you. And then you just snap the ball and follow through just like you would and then I use the 16 inch and now I use the spinner and lastly I use the baseball I'm Katie Seidel and today I'm going to show you a drill called lunges. The goal of this drill is to get good leg drive when pitching and this would increase your velocity. Some tips for this drill is to stay balanced and your chest should not lean over your front leg. It should be two lunges into a pitch. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, I'm a senior at Marist High School and I'm going to be demonstrating for you the one knee drill. This focuses on keeping your balance and not moving your upper body and keeping still. It's also long distance so just all you have to do is set up like this, have your one knee down, your one knee kind of at a like a 100 degree angle and have your arm straight down and all you have to do is whip your arm around as fast as possible. Hi, my name is Abby Dunning and I'm going to play softball at Boston College. Today I'm going to show you two different games I like to play at the end of my workouts. So the first game is you're going to pick one of your many pitches, whether it be screwball, curveball, rise, any pitch you want, and you're going to throw it five times in a row, hitting an exact spot. And you can do this by putting a water bottle on a tee and setting it up and trying to hit that water bottle, or just having your catcher hold up your target and hit your spot as many times as you can out of five and challenge yourself to get as many as you can. The next game is putting yourself in game-like situations. For example, you could throw a pitch and pretend it's the seventh inning, base is loaded, and you're at a three and two count. You have to hit this spot of the pitch you call, otherwise you have some sort of physical punishment, whether it be five push-ups or jumping jacks or whatever. So challenge yourself and go do great. At the end of your pitching workout, something I always do is I use, I play 10 batters where you consecutively throw 10 batters in a row, but if you ever have more balls than you have strikes, then you lose the batter. And try and challenge yourself to see how many you can get out of 10. Thanks!